Hi guys, welcome back to my channel again. How you guys doing? What's popping? So today happens to be my anniversary, my wedding anniversary, and I just want to get straight to the point where I thank God that I have not filed for divorce. <laughs> thank God I'm still in my husband's house. Thank God I'm not running away. Thank you, Jesus. God, you are faithful. Thank you for blessing my marriage with a baby. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you that I have not packed my things and went straight to my father's house. Because sometimes things like that can happen. But yeah, welcome back to my channel, guys. How you doing? Um, if you follow me, if, if you don't, my name is BBB Tega. The way it is here on all my social media pages, Instagram, Snapchat. If you follow me, you know that obviously I got married precisely a year ago, 20th of April 2019. I walked down the aisle with my dad holding me straight to meet my husband. I will put a clip for you guys to see that this man was crying, all emotional. In my business like oh my wife is coming and stuff but yeah that is like one year now and i give god the glory trust me i said i was going to put up like marriage preparation video what you should expect what you shouldn't expect what i what happened to mine you know what i've learned but it's risky man it's risky i'll say a lot of things here you guys begin to judge me but um i must still do it who knows let's get down to the business of today so i'm married for a year and there are some things that I have learned for myself or the marriage has taught me in the process of all this being together and it's amazing, it's amazing the things that we've not, we've not been taught. Our parents just expect us to get married, our families just expect us to get married, friends and loved ones around us, oh get married. Nobody's saying, nobody's preparing you. Most of, one of the things that our mothers actually do on purpose is how to cook and how to behave. And they always pay attention to the girls, what happened to the guys. But yeah, that's a general thing and another topic. I am married, I successfully got married and yeah, low key, I never wanted to get married. But I wanted to get married. It's confusing. <laughs> I told myself if I don't get married before 30, once I clock 30, I'll carry my money. Go on, you know, do the old IVF thing. Put the baby in me. You know, get to the hospital. Say I want green, one left eye, left eye should be green, right eye should be blue, hair should be, you know, blue. Or whatever. I pick all those things. Those things they used to, you know, do you hear about the stuff, how they make babies? But whatever. Thank God I'm married and I'm. I thank God for my partner. I couldn't have married someone else. <laughs> I don't want to bust his brain. But my husband is so, 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 sweet. And the only part I don't like about my husband is that it's unnecessarily funny. He says I'm the saddest, but whatever. Yes, so today I've learned a couple of things about marriage and um, I feel like it's interesting, obviously. There are things I think you know already and you're like, oh, I'm ready for this, I'm ready for this. I know that if I get married, I have to do this. I get married, I have to do that. More, um, society says you have to do this. Sometimes you even read the book. The reality is different. Eh, to God that made me. God knows I'm not lying. God, I'm not. The reality of this thing is different. So yeah. Um, I'm talking about the first thing I'm gonna talk about is you must speak it. You must speak it. Now, when you marry people who tend to be, you know, very calm, very quiet, they act to you know keep things to themselves. They just, they just unconsciously cut. Obviously, what they have been doing all this while, just unconsciously carry it into. Whatever they're doing, the marriage, obviously, marriage is what I'm talking about. Now, for me, I'm a very say it as it is. But I think men most times just you know randomly think, <laughs> no, no, no need. 
but for me when I was preg while I was pregnant I withdrew a lot of things that I refused to say and um, by the grace of God with time when I was down I went to my pregnancy then I was like what the hell let me tell him this is how I feel you know and this is like the work better communication work better we talked about a lot of things jokingly some things I will not talk about and later I'll be like my husband will be like why didn't you just say it why didn't, why didn't you just say it? and I would look at him and say why didn't you just say that thing that time, that time in February or in August why didn't you say your own and the guy is like you're crazy that's what <laughs> my husband's best word to me is you're the Chris no but you don't get who could tell you that you're the Chris so yeah <laughs> I'm the communication helps okay so I also talked about forgiving before hearing the apology forgiving forgiveness before anything before you are you hear apology from your partner my mom told me this you know yeah when I got married a lot of things you know up and down up and down up and down my mom was telling me so the trick to it is that before your husband comes to you to seek forgiveness or maybe to say if you're expecting to say sorry this something forgive him let him go in your heart and I'm looking at my mom you know my mom is quite humble she's down to head she's very prayerful spiritual top notch I give it to her see the truth is in this marriage now I think it's better I'm like my mom and not, and not like better like my mom I'll be using my mom's tricks all the truth that she's be using all the things that she's say I'll be using it has been working for me just that I refuse to be calm you know I don't know this century but my mom was telling me that I should you know forgive before my husband comes to seek for forgiveness the first two times i tried it it was hard i mean we're not talking it was <laughs> can, can you imagine staying, same, staying with your husband in the same house and not talking to him it comes to the woman enter the door i'll throw my face away in my mind i've forgiven him i'm like god i've forgiven this man but you not just talk to me i don't even want to talk to him then when he when he when he puts up the light i got on the light because me i want to use the light but i cannot tell him that don't put up the light because i need to use the light then when he sleeps on the bed i use my pregnancy pillow to divide the bed like mm. my guy does never have strength my husband is a character he would just be there just he was he was i would feel him looking i'm like eh. mm. yeah dog going crazy I'm here and you for this house. I will just if you come maybe and that's the room and maybe I'm not doing it, I will just walk out. Maybe my mom said forgive him before he seeks for forgiveness. Maybe, it was hard, you know. But the first time I tried it, what time we, the first time I actually sincerely tried it, after the whole back to back, the next day wouldn't obviously it was hard. The next day I prayed, I said God forgive me, I've forgiven him. I don't know why he did that to me, it's really hurtful, but I won't talk about it and everything. So the next day, my guy was expecting me to be, you know, all gym gym. You know, I used to do. Then he came, he came back, and I don't know what I was going to like. Bye, love. I kiss him. I love you. I will like to when you get back. <laughs> I don't know if he was checking his pockets. If I was not asking for money, <laughs> it was. Uh, 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 this one a new one. It, it was kind of short and smiled and I like, don't worry. Um, don't worry. I'm, I'm not thinking about it. I'm like, oh, I can make something for you. Like, no one stresses. I can't sleep. I'll call you when I'm coming back. And after two days, it was when I even thought about it. After we, it came back, he was like, uh, bless you. Hey, don't calm down now. But this is, this is, and then the he actually apologized. Weird thing for my husband to do. Like, ooh, he apologized. I'm like, that one did not make sense at all. See, baby, it doesn't make sense. And it was really hot. We say, hey, hey, don't stretch it. Don't stretch it. But we actually talked about it and I felt better about it. So also, um, I'm talking about how submission does the trick. You, um, Mabel just said, wife submit to your husband right you know it's a big deal i think submission is the whole is the entirety of the whole marriage like the submission is the main thing in, the, in marriage I, that is why i think because the trick that submission does i can't imagine to get, when i wanted to get married i did not pay attention to the submission thing even though you know you know my your parents would say my mom would actually tell me my mom would actually tell me that when you will not go no no like obviously 
she says, don't worry, when you get there, there's something that there's no way she can explain it. When you get there, and if you really love this person you're getting married to, it will do the trick. Then when I got married, and after some months, I noticed that the more I submitted to my husband, the, the more, I don't know, I dragged him, the more closer we were, we became closer. If I, and I think the guy did not expect me to be that submissive. I don't know, that, I'm not that bad. So if I say, oh, yes, baby, my king, this, that, oh, the busty head. <laughs> Even if he has something, maybe, maybe his mind is made up about something. If I submit properly, I can see him strutting around like, you know, people think that I don't need to even submit or I just, baby, baby, you know, it does the trick. Also, a financial understanding. Before you get married to your partner, obviously, I think most of, most people should have discussed it. It's very crucial. People lie about it. People ignore it. People say, oh, people, some girls marry with the idea of my husband will do everything. Some people marry with the idea we will share. I am um, of the opinion that you can do it 50 50. Probably not 50 50. Sometimes you 60, me 40. Sometimes you 70, me 30. Sometimes me 100, you 0. It depends, but I must be supportive financially. So now that I feel like in, a, in, in this marriage, like in a year, every time I feel like I'm not supporting financially, I'm like, baby, and it's, my husband says, it's not your duty. I don't feel like it's your duty. I'm like, it's not my duty, I know. But I must support. <laughs> so financial understanding. I don't think a lot of people understand that because of the hopes you have for your marriage, the hopes you have for finances, you have to come to an agreement. This is how much you will spend for the house this month. We had to do that. So when we have stretched out from spending from a month in the house, it will be selling me, eh, eh, I don't know if I have another house somewhere. Monthly allowance money, I'll finish you. Like in his head, because we have agreed, in his head, that's it. But I like, baby, but it's not me now, you know, no. He said, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Oh, 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 it does oh, oh, but money is coming out or something. Oh, oh, just let us do it like this, like this. Like, okay, before it got me angry. Like, but in my mind, I'm like, yes, we have said that. This, how, is, how am I going to do this if you give me this more amount of money? It got me angry, but with time, I have to understand. We talked about it and we agreed. And by the grace of God, here, yeah, started working out. So that's it. I learned that. Standards. Now, let me talk about this crucial part. The, cle the living and cleaving that talk about, you know, a man should leave his mother and his father and cleave onto his wife. It's both ways, first of all. Apart from both ways, it also applies for me. I think it also it applies to our loved ones, our families, and our friends, our parents. Now, what most people don't, on the, most generally people do after the wedding, everybody obviously come for a wedding and they will leave. And some people will leave you entirely. Just I mean, spend for one year, two years, just be alone, you know. They don't ask too much. Hey, how far are you there? But sometimes our parents don't. It's not like they don't get it. They do. The love they have for us obviously cannot begin to reduce because we are married. So consciously, um, just because they love us, um, the boys' parents will be this. The girl's parents with that now. My my dad and I, you know, I don't know. Following on social media, you know that I have strong love for my father. <laughs> yes, that is gay. I don't care. So sometimes my dad will say some certain things. I'll be like, okay, it's obviously different from my husband's idea. But I'm like, and stupid me, I will go there. Yeah, my my daddy said. My daddy said. My husband never complained, but <laughs> with time, he would ask me, funny guy, what did the daddy say? I mean, to the daddy. I remember, are you mocking me? <laughs> then I, I read something in a book. No, it's not a book. No, I read, I listened to a Christian message on YouTube. One of those times I was pregnant, and talking about how the man is the head of the home, how we should appreciate him, how we should, how the women should, you know, automatically try to exalt the head. And <sighs> I've always understood that, but I did not expect I, I did not expect that it was going to be that difficult to leave my home and my parents, the attachment I have to cleave on to my husband. I didn't expect it. I was just like, oh, if I get married, oh yeah, my husband will love me. Oh, all nice things. Oh, cute. Oh, mm -mm. I was missing them every time. 
I was missing home. Then, at the time, I told myself, come on, you have to give this a try. You have to give your husband a try, you know, and stuff. And parents are sort of to understand that. You, it's not a matter of, I don't know, you loving your child more than the man, or the man loves your child, or the girl loves your son, or the boy loves your daughter. It's not the, that's not the issue. The issue is, they are starting a family, and it's a little bit, un, it's a little bit difficult because they're from different backgrounds, and different family, families, and they're trying to understand themselves. So, as most of the time this happens, and the woman, ha I don't know why it always falls on the woman to now become, begin, to now be the person who tries to play the middleman. Even if for the boy, the woman plays the middleman. Even for her own self, she plays the middleman. What is it? So now you have to be smart enough. For me, now I realized this few months ago, I was not even too far gone, and I'm still learning. And my father said some things recently on the, over the phone, and I felt like, yeah, you have a point, Daddy. Yes, you have a point. That that makes sense. There are some things my father tries to make sure. Oh, me and my husband have agreed on certain things because he knows me. You know, and star reason. It's like sometimes have you told your husband? Have you asked your husband? And in his mind, if I tell him something, I've asked my husband. I've not asked my husband. I'm just telling you, Daddy. Daddy, I'm your baby. Help me. Yeah, Daddy, cry on his shoulder. Not every time you go and begin to cry on your parents' shoulder. Because my mom used to say, you will forgive, but obviously, the man will come to you and ask, baby, I'm sorry, you know, Pampa, you take you out and you, oh my heart, I love you, but I'm sorry. The man will not go and ask for forgiveness from his parents, obviously. And you will not go and say, ah, mom, you, daddy, my husband, eh, ah, he, he knelt down, he begged, he was saying, sorry, so please forgive him. It's not as easy as that because you have told them how probably he has treated you and they are biased and they're like, oh my daughter, you are doing this, or oh, maybe he has told his mother, this is what the wife is doing, oh you no, know, my mother will say, oh my you little girl cannot treat you, I'm treating you. It's a deep it's a it's a whole confused thing. But I must say my husband plays tries to, you know, do it sometimes, sure. I don't even know it's going down one. But yeah, it's a it's a it's a thing that I've learned. It was difficult and with time I started realizing that my parents are there. My husband is here. I have to be able to it's not there there's no I have to be able to balance it. Balance it, balance it. So when you, some topics I know that oh this is me and my husband's topic. Before I did not know. Everything just comes out. Wow! Oh, oh, this. No, 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 no. There's some, there's some things that maybe probably now, if you're talking about it, I'll be like, oh, really? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm not going to tell you. Maybe my husband did something. I'm not going to tell you, oh, when I get to nine, I'm going to, I, will, I don't like what my baby, my dog, my husband, I'll call him his name, obviously. I'm not, I'm not like what he did. I used to do that a lot. Complaining, rant. It's not like I'm angry, just I'm free with my family, so. And this, this, and my siblings are there and stuff and I'll just you know keep ranting they will have their own idea my parents will have their own, their own idea I don't know if it's good or bad Pfft. things just pause but now I try to hide I try not to say a lot because I try to differentiate what the issue is that I keep with my family and what I let out it's on, most people you think it's easy <laughs> it's not because sometimes you confide in your mom, you love your mom so much, I've been very close with her to her, you guys are like this. When something happens, mommy, it's just easy for you to pour out your heart to the person. Daddy, I my father knows when I'm not happy. My mom knows too. Sometimes my mom oh, she gives me you know, breath of that the husband. My father <laughs> Hello? What's wrong? Nothing. Are you sure? You must let me, you must let me put, you must, <laughs> I must always be in the, in the loop. I must always be in the loop. Daddy, I'm married now. Yeah, tell me about it. Tell me. Yeah, no, tell me. I don't know. <laughs> it is my face. What's wrong? Nothing. I know something is wrong. Your face is long. I try to, no, I'm fine. We are already pretending. What is, what, 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 what has the kid done? What has the husband done? What has, what, what has the husband done? Like nothing. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me.
And I'm sure my husband's parents, my husband's mom does the same thing too. It's just protective love, but they don't understand it. We're now in the marriage, we're together. Um, when we hear from our parents, I'm sure we'll come and say, what did mom say? I don't know if my husband will tell me. Me, I'm not telling him. You case the thing hot him, you get. And I'll be like, but he is that, this, that, this, that. And we both agree. The cleaving and the living and cleaving is a whole different ball game because then if you are married, getting married when you are 27, that means you've been your family with your family for 27 years, and now you are <laughs> going to meet someone and just spend a few months with them. It's still you know falling back and falling back. They um yes, yeah, so I talked about submission does the trick. I talked about living, the living and cleaving. I talked about financial understanding. Um, I talked about forgiving before hearing the apology. Um, also, also, next thing I talked about is wait things out. And this kind of contradicts, you must speak it. But in the wait things out, under the whole, under the subtopic of wait things out, is not reacting immediately. Me, I'm like, strike the matches, film before it goes boom. I just react. If you dare, if you, I'm that, I'm like that generally, but that's not being in my marriage. Being in, being a married woman is it? I, I think doesn't work effectively like that. My husband does something. Why are you doing this now? Oh, my husband does something. I get my husband does something. My face changes. Now, my husband will do something to me. If I'm angry, I'm, I'm boiling, I'm smiling outside. Hi, hello, okay. Oh, nice, oh my God. Then when we get home, maybe, now wait, now wait maybe the next day. See, eh, I don't see it. See, it's like you don't want this marriage again. It's, it's like, it's, you know, we, this thing you are doing, like, it's like you're tired, you want a divorce, I eh, let, let us do it. Because I am sick. I was so going crazy. I think <laughs> I think he appreciates that more. Mama doesn't even like car call. Like maybe you went out somewhere then you wait to get into the car and start doesn't even like it. I don't even know why. <laughs> because it starts <laughs> If you like your life, don't just do car call. <laughs> because my guy will start driving like driving fast and furious. <laughs> so just quit so you get home or you know and you know you get to bring up um those kind of issues and then later we just must talk about it later maybe if, when we when we start smiling with me and i'll be like but you know this thing you do you mess up sha you know it makes sense <laughs> then because i married a comment there he will look at me and be like me no makes sense me it was what i took her you the crazy, but no, no, no girl will tell you. Me, I'm like, it's not about me, your authority, you know. This is how I talk about it, but I don't know if they will talk about it. I'm a joke about it, and all goes, you know. Then let me talk about wearing each other's shoes sometimes. Wearing each other's shoes, so not like literally going to wear your husband's shoe, no. So putting yourself in each other's situation to a position now and. I did that exactly precisely when I was six months over six months pregnant. Um, I needed to wear my husband's shoe. So when a woman gets pregnant, everybody knows, oh nice, it's cute. How does the man react to it? How does the man act to it? Does the man have a the man has a crucial part to play? What are the crucial parts a husband have to play during pregnancy? Is he being only being supportive? Does it affect psycho him psychologically? Does it affect him financially? Was he ready? Was he not ready? All those things, you are you ready? So after some time when I was pregnant, I noticed that I wasn't really asking some kind of crucial questions or important questions to you know. Asking my husband, baby this, baby that, dad this, how we prepared. I was just expecting in my head that, oh, since I'm pregnant, I'm going to do a pregnancy emotional and thing. He should be supportive and so, 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 so. But after a while, I prayed, I understood the procedure and I spoke to him, I spoke about it and it was fine. When, that, that's an example, when each other's shoes, you, you literally have to, you know, understand 
put yourself in your husband's position just see him as you asking for sex it's a very it's a very sensitive topic most people don't say about it it is okay as a woman to ask for sex from your husband it is okay as a man to ask for sex from your wife don't always feel like you are doing it too much don't always feel like you are asking too much don't always feel like oh if i'm asking too much this is what he thinks about me don't always feel like if you think you feel like it's going to say that's the little thing about he should tell you that's the little thing i think about oh yeah what can i do now i do not my partner it's i was really something about how women deprive themselves from asking their partner for sex because they feel like oh it's their partner that's supposed to be asking so when the partner doesn't ask there's no sex and in my mind i'm like this century or last century or next century women i'm i'm a bit confused you ask for it i've learned that probably you have to find different ways to ask for it today you cook fried rice you try eating the fried rice maybe are you done eating you know spice it up next month tomorrow next month you could be baked tea with two loaves of bread two loaves of bread <laughs> and you eat it with him they were not eating what next then next they make a bar mm, try to do it after food or maybe you go out after going out or try to instigate the drink now my husband knows me when i'm trying to do this kind of things It'll be like, what are you up to? I'm like, nothing. I just want you to eat properly. I just want you to, you know, have fun. Uh, what are you up to? This is your small eyes. This is your small eyes. I'm like, no, I'm not up to anything. I'm a good girl. I'm the wife that you married. I'm not up to anything. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's it for that. Um, so I'll talk about God is definitely the key. Prayer, to, praying together with your partner does the magic. Mm, every time I pray for my husband, God protect my husband. God do this, that. God give him that. God did this. God did this, this. Then one day I ask myself, why am I not holding hands with my husband every time he's around, go on our knees and cry to God? And how does he have a problem with it? He enjoys it. We really open the heavens together. And they will pray. But sometimes when I pray some prayer at night or some very particular prayers, man, I'm not saying you should not do that, but at least 80 percent of the time you pray, you should pray with your partner. And every time I've gone on my knees, or we have gone on gone on our knees together to hold God, hold our hands and believe God for something. God. 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 Finally, I'm going to talk about accepting some flaws. In your partner and um, it's really hard so sometimes when you, you say you love someone you want to you, you are married to them and you are consciously trying to change them you are going to you know ex be exhausted like you keep doing it and the person will never be enough for you accepting your partner the way they are first of all then you see the flaws, then you begin to accept it. Oh, I said it will be make another struggle. You see yourself loving the person for who they are and like that. And if if truly that person has that, that character that person has is bad and you want that person to change, by loving the person entirely and not complaining about it, you notice that not complaining about it all the time, you notice that the person changes. You notice that my changes. So I think when I see something my husband is doing I really don't like before I was saying, now wow, which kind of life do this one? What do you have? What do you have to do? Now, now currently I'm married, or oh, no. But now I'm like, babe, later I'm like, babe, I think this is not good. Anyways, now you know, Sean. Now your life, I was just joking about it, joking about it, and sometimes I'll correct him, I'll make I'll make him a better option. So we should think now, like, why don't you, why don't you do this? Why don't you think, try it now? And I think he does that to me too, and that works. So yeah, that is all that I have to say. I love you so much, baby, if you are going to watch this video, which I know you always do. I love you so much, baby. Happy one year anniversary, darling. Thank you for being a fantastic partner. Thank you for being a good daddy. I love you and happy anniversary. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys so much. Make sure you subscribe. Let me know in the comment section down below what 
you learn to the first day of your marriage and if you have been married if you are married how long have you been married let me know bye guys i've said to the hood my husband is calling me hello good day i'm fine thank you sir I'm fine, sir. So, what do you want God to do for you? I want, I want God to give me money. Because I want to buy, buy some clothes from Fashion Nova. For what? I want to, I want to buy some things from Fashion Nova. Since that last time, I used the money to do something else. Babe, I'll call you back. Where you going to? Where is my son? Your son is in the palace with mommy. I'll call you back. What are you doing? I'm coming in front of you. Nothing is in front of me. What is you doing? I want to see around you. I don't want to see around me. Why do you want to see around me? I want to see around me. Okay, you go leave me. No, let me see around me. Baby. Baby. No. I will, I will end this call now. <laughs> Mom is waiting for me. No problem. Yes. Yes. Yes, I'm going to call you. Baby, what are you going to say that you have learned from our marriage? Two things. They have learned since we got married. So, do you love me? I love you like I love myself. I love you more than I love myself. I mean to say, yes. But I'm not eating all my money. I don't have money. I don't have money to take care of myself. Because I'm giving you all my money. Okay. <laughs> yes. Alright. I love you too. Bang you. Alright. Kiss, kiss. Bang you. Eh? Kiss, kiss. Soon. Bye. Make sure my camera is with you while you're calling me. Okay. Bye. Bye.